an annual free conference focused on business growth. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Carlos Medina. He's chairman of the Statewide Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of New Jersey. Thanks for being with us. Good to see you, Carlos. Thank you, Jill. First of all, talk to us a little bit about the chamber itself and who you represent. Sure. Founded in 1989, we're an organization. Really, our, our primary focus is the advancement of small business and primarily Hispanic small business and large business in the state of New Jersey. And what kind of growth has there been since 1989 when it comes to Hispanic-owned businesses, particularly small businesses? There was probably under a thousand Hispanic-owned businesses back in 1989 in the state, and we're up to over 70,000, so it's quite a, an impressive growth. You've actually uh, formed a new partnership with the African American Chamber of Commerce of New Jersey. Tell us about that. Sure, I sat with John Harmon, who's their president. We sat on a board together. So we just started brainstorming that with these two organizations, the synergy, the mutual networking would be immense. They're a similar size chamber, so you're talking close to 140,000 members. So we thought a memorandum of understanding would be a great thing to just help both memberships. And what is the goal of, of this memorandum of understanding? How do you hope to move forward as, as your organizations partner together? To, to work together on common, on common goals and issues, perhaps procurement, uh, make sure that we go to corporations, we go to state agencies, and just talk to them about the value of diversity and contracting for our membership. You're also having your annual conference. This is the 23rd year for this conference. It's free, but tell us a little bit about the purpose of this day-long event. Sure, it's to really help uh, our, our members grow and help our sponsors reach out and touch our members. So there will be various workshops on financial literacy, on procurement. Um, and, and a lot of companies will be able to showcase their, their services and their products. We expect about 1,000 people to walk in the room uh, throughout the course of the day. So the workshops are a big part of the day and a big part of what happens at this annual conference. But you also have an expo. Tell us about what's included with that and who should attend. I think any business owner should attend, whether you're a small business, a Hispanic business, uh, Probably over 30% of our memberships are actually non-Hispanic, and I think they're the individuals that are smart and they're tapping into this market. So there's people from every country you could imagine, every background, every ethnicity, uh, women-owned uh, businesses setting up shop, and they're reaching out to this growing $10 billion a year uh, a pot of money that's out there. And as you mentioned, about a thousand people attend this conference annually and in addition to the workshops and the expo, you also have an awards luncheon. Yes, and this year we have confirmed Mayor Fulop from Jersey City. Uh, since we're in his city, he's going to give us a welcome and be one of our speakers at the luncheon. And again, all of this happens on November 1st. Tell us how people attend the event. Sure, they could go to the website. We have an Eventbrite set up so they could register whenever they'd like and they'll have their badge uh, ready and waiting for them. And it is held in Jersey City this year? Yes, at the Gilligan Student Center at New Jersey City University. And this is an opportunity for, as you mentioned, a wide variety of business owners to come together for workshops and an expo and, and an awards luncheon. But is it also an opportunity to have a sense of synergy and to bounce ideas off of each other as a networking opportunity? Sure. If you see some of our photographs from our events, that's the, the action shots that I love best are people kind of huddled together in groups of three and four talking about business. Uh, making deals. It, it's really what it's all about is networking and helping each other out. Thanks so much for being with us. And again, the annual conference is Friday, November 1st in Jersey City, and it's a free conference, but people need to register online. Yes, please. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Joe. We've been talking with Carlos Medina, chairman of the Statewide Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of New Jersey. I'm Jill Horner.